Morgan Baker is 22 years old. She is single, unemployed, and lives with her parents. She was diagnosed with schizophrenia at age 18 during her college studies. She has been hospitalized for six weeks for non-treatment, responsive, decompensating schizophrenia and alcohol abuse. She has been granted unaccompanied temporary discharge for three hours in order to prepare for impending complete discharge. The nurse's report mentions that Miss Baker was anxious before leaving unaccompanied for the first time. You go to Miss Baker to introduce yourself and inquire about her experience. The nurse, when approaching the user's bedside, wears a panic button on her waist. Wearing a panic button when visiting the user's room is an essential safety measure. With this button, the nurse can discreetly send an SOS signal to quickly contact emergency services or a trusted person when she feels threatened or in the case of an imminent risk of aggression. Hi, Morgan. My name is Mary. I'm your nurse for today. Can I come in for a quick chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. C come in, come in. Okay. I I'd like to know how your day went. Would you like to tell me about it? Going, going out, it, it made me nervous. I, I, I didn't like it. Okay. Can, can you tell me what you did during the three hours that you were out? I, I, I went to the corner. <laughs> I, I went to the corner store and then to the park. I, I drank five beers. Okay, you drank beer because you didn't know what else to do? I, I drank to, to, to calm the, the voices. Okay, um, no, no. I, I can't hear these voices. Can you tell me what they're saying? Do you recognize them? I, it's, it's, just, it's, it's constant mumbling. It, it's, no, you, you, can't, you can't hear it. It's just, Okay, um, can you tell me how you feel when you hear these voices? It feels like I'm losing my goddamn mind! Okay, uh, Morgan, would you please sit down so that we can talk about it some more? Okay, um, when do these voices usually appear? They, they, just, they just appear out of, out of, out of nowhere. It's, 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 it's just constant, constant mumbling. Okay, and apart from alcohol, do you have other ways to make them go away? I, 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 I listen to music, but it's, it, 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 it usually, it, it, it calms me down. Okay, so, so you do have options that work. That, well, that's they're good. clearly not goddamn working now, are they? <laughs> okay, um, I can see that you're tired of it. I'm here to listen to what you have to say, and I'm here to help you through it, okay? What, what makes you aggressive, exactly? Just, just, I already told you. Don't you hear them? Don't you? So you're hearing these voices right now? Didn't you understand what I just told you? Okay. Um, Morgan, I'm going to have to ask you to calm down and stop throwing stuff around. Would you like maybe to go to the exercise room to vent? Maybe try reading something? No, to no. I, I don't want to go. I don't want to. Okay. That, that's okay, but you will have to get a hold of yourself, okay? Maybe, would you like me to go get some medication that could help lower your anxiety and make the voices more quiet? Oh, pill, sure, that's all you people offer, isn't it? Okay, you could also go to the isolation room to regain your composure in a calm environment. Oh, the isolation room, how fun! <laughs> okay, Morgan, I told you all of your options. You can either go to the exercise room, you can stay here and calm down, you can get some PRN medication, or you can go to the isolation room. It's all up to you. So what's it going to be? Just, just, just bring me your damn pills. All right, I'll be right back. The nurse clearly states her expectations and the procedure to follow for what's to come. If the user refuses to make a choice despite the alternatives, the nurse will choose the option herself. If, for example, the nurse chooses to administer medication as needed, she will still give the user a choice regarding the method of administration. The goal is to make the user as accountable as possible for her behavior and decisions. It should be noted that the physical intervention should always be used as a last resort, 
as this type of intervention poses a risk of injury to the user and the care team.